Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala threatens the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. وَلَقَدْ أُوحِيَ إِلَيْكَ وَإِلَى الَّذِينَ مِنْ قَبْلِكَ لَإِنْ أَشْرَكْتَ لَيَحْبَطَنَّ عَمَلُكَ وَلَتَكُونَنَّ مِنَ الْخَاسِرِينَ Allah threatens the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and he says, it's been revealed to you, just like it was revealed to those who came before you, that if you commit shirk, if you do not worship Allah alone, all of your deeds will be rendered null and void and you will be from among the losers. Think about this, your local uncle or your local neighbor who goes on Hajj every single year and in the month of Ramadan he sits i'tikaf in the masjid of the Prophet and he gives 50,000 pounds a year in charity and he builds a masjid and he helps the orphan if that man dies making dua to the Messenger of Allah, if that man dies making dua to the grave, if that man dies slaughtering to somebody other than Allah, if that man dies believing that the Peet Sahib in the Darbar can help him, all of his actions will be rendered null and void. Rendered null and void, this isn't from me. You've heard it from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He says, إِنَّ اللَّهَ لَا يَغْفِرُ أَنْ يُشْرَكَ بِهِ وَيَغْفِرُ مَا دُونَ ذَلِكَ لِمَنْ يَشَاءُ Allah will never forgive that shirk be committed with Him. Allah will never forgive that shirk will be committed with Allah, that you associate partners with Allah, but He forgives what is lesser than that for whomever He wills.